Hello, I'm Sam from Sound on Sound magazine. It's 2023, it's Anaheim, California. It's time for another NAM show. Our very first victims at this <laughs> NAM show uh, is Satish from Black BT. Hello, Satish, it's Hi. great to meet you. Great to meet you, Sam. Nice to meet you. And uh, Black BT is a new name for me. You're actually based in India, is that right? Yes, we're in fact one of the first uh, music technology hardware startups from India. Amazing. So yeah. what? <laughs> startup, that implies that you have a product which you're holding in your hand. Tell us a little yes. bit about this. So this is the Sussex pedal. It's the world's first combination pedal in that it can do both foot switch and continuous control in the same body. So all these years, in the last 50 years, we are used to the notion that we need to have a sustained pedal and we need to have an expression pedal separately. This is the size of my shoe, which I can't possibly fit into my laptop bag anywhere. And, you know, have these different pedals and have a separate drum trigger pedal and so on and so forth. But this is a combined idea of all of those things. It's, B, it's BLE MIDI. Mm -hmm. and it talks directly to your DAW, and it can also talk directly to your synthesizers. So it is uh, CC assignable. So it's like a true Swiss Army uh, knife for a musician. So Amazing. So for those of us who are not familiar with BLE MIDI, what, what is that? So that's Bluetooth Low Energy MIDI. So it's a, a separate protocol of MIDI that talks directly via Bluetooth Low Energy to your computer or any uh, device that's capable of doing Bluetooth. So when I hear the word Bluetooth, I generally think of the word latency. Latency, uh, How yes. bad is that? Oh, no, we managed to bring it uh, sub 15 milliseconds. Wow. So you can actually program drum loops with it. So there's absolutely no, uh, what do you say, lag from the latency. Amazing. And is this primarily oriented at keyboard players then? No, not at all. This is useful for keyboard players, guitar players, drum players, and anybody who uses a DAW to do anything with performance or creating music. So. So if you're going on the road with, say, Ableton running on a laptop, yep. you might just take a guitar in one of these or yeah. a controller keyboard in one of these. So basically, I'm a, a film composer from Bollywood. So I have my entire uh, music composing set up in my laptop. So I travel a lot extensively for, for film scores. So I wanted a solution that I could carry in my laptop bag that, was, that would give me complete comprehensive control over the sound libraries that I have. And this is just one of the ideas that was born out of that. Amazing. Well, I'm hoping in a minute you're going to give us a demo because I'm a terrible keyboard player. But in the meantime, is this available to buy now or is it? It's right now available for pre-orders. And what sort of price are we looking at? Uh, we're looking at $149.99 wow. uh, dollars, US dollars. Incredible. Well, thank you very much, Satish. It's just amazing to meet you. And Same um, here. I'm looking forward to hearing what this thing can do. Can you right. tinkle the ivories yes, for us? Yes, yes. <laughs> Loved it. It works like a regular sustain pedal now. So... So when I press it in the front, in the front tip, so it's working like a regular sustain pedal, but the moment I move my foot to the top of the pedal, it automatically turns into an expression pedal. So it has foot uh, position sensing sensors, so that can actually do the switch in the middle of a performance. So now I am actually changing the timbre of the instrument. If I feel this is the right timbre, I can leave it at that and then come back to my sustain. If I want it brighter, I can bring it down. So I can actually modify the sound in the middle of a performance on the stage with just one pedal. And it's more useful when I'm composing film scores because I don't have to do automation. So I can have it all together in the same performance, you know, when I'm doing it. So that is to start with, and let me just show you. So uh, basically when I do film scores in India, I get like a string orchestra of maybe like 11 or 12 players. So I'm always forced to layer them with sample strings. But then they would have played with beautiful dynamics, whereas I would have a tough time matching it with my sample strings. So this can just allow me to do that. So, so this is an action strings patch that's just playing a 16th note, you know, a pedal. You asked about latency, so the latency is so low that I can actually create syncopations in the plane loop.
So that's how useful it is. So if I'm making a film score of 60 minutes, in Indian films, we have a lot of music. So if we have 90 minutes of music, it'll probably take me uh, like 90 hours or plus to create it. But with the Sussex pedal, I can do that in like 30 to 40 hours because the automation becomes a part of the performance. Amazing. So having said that, so we also have a drum trigger feature. So now I'm using it as a trigger for my loops. So now the beauty is, I can actually trigger the loop and control the dynamics in, with just one foot. So I can have this running while I play my action strings on another layer with the keyboard. Oh, cool. So it's a, it's a loop trigger as well. And the, and the important thing is, let me show you with Omnisphere how we can use a dual pedal setup. So now, as you can see, I have two pedals talking to the Omnisphere plugin here. One is talking on CC1, which all the Sussex pedals come as CC1. Whereas you can route the other pedal through MIDI pipe, which is like a freeware software. And then you can reroute it to CC2. So you can control two different uh, parameters simultaneously in a real performance. That's me controlling the resonance. That's the kind of flexibility that the Sussex pedals give you. Amazing, thank you very much. Thank you, thanks a lot.